Today I will show you how to reduce noise from your images. So let's start. Hi guys, my name is Nemanja Sekulic and welcome to another fun episode. Today I will show you a few different methods how you can reduce noise on your images. But before we start, let me tell you something about noise reduction. Anytime you want to reduce noise with any preferred method, any preferred plugin or software, you will deal with the same problem. You will need to compromise between the amount of details on the image and amount of noise because every software will basically do the same to your image. It will blur your image and in that way you will lose some details and that's where you need to compromise to find that sweet spot for noise reduction. So let's jump straight into Photoshop and let me show you what it's all about. Okay guys, this is the image for today and if we zoom it a little bit, you can see there is a lot of noise on this image, especially here in the water, in the darker parts. Okay, and I will show you a few different methods how you can reduce the amount of the noise. First, let's duplicate this layer with Control Command J and let's use filter noise and go to reduce noise. That's the first and most obvious way how to do it. And let me tell you, I basically don't use this one, but I just want to show you to know that this is the option too. All right, you have two options basically. You have basic and advanced. We will not deal with advanced because in advanced you have just one tab here. It's you can reduce noise per channel, red, green and blue, but we don't want that. We will just use the basic settings. You have the strength option here, the strength slider, and with that you will, you with that you choose the amount of noise that want to be reduced. Actually, the amount of blur to be applied here. And with second slider, preserve details, you choose the amount of details to be preserved on on the image. So let's move that all the way down, and you will see how the image become a little bit blue, more blurrer. Oh, you cannot say that image. It's a little bit more blurry, okay. And that's where you need to compromise between the amount of detail and the amount of noise. So if we move a detail slider a little bit, maybe 10%, you will see the noise. It's a little bit, hmm, I don't know, maybe too much. Maybe if we type a five and I think that's okay. We can sharpen the image a little bit if we want, or we can just leave it at 20 or 25, just small amount of sharpening and press OK. And wait a few seconds for Photoshop to apply this uh, filter and we will see the before in and after version. So this is before and this is after. As you, as you can see, we removed some amount of noise. It's not perfect, but it's really nice. Okay, let's name this uh, reduce noise it's this one under noise and reduce noise just to know what it is and okay before and after it's not bad so now i will show you the second method let's duplicate the background layer again control command j and let's move it to the top and i will name this surface blur because we will apply a surface blur filter on this layer go to the filter blur and go surface okay and what the surface blur does to your image it's a uh, surface blur actually detect the edges of your uh, surfaces in the image and blur only those surfaces it's tr it's it tries to preserve the edges and the shapes okay and this is too much in this case we have really big threshold we will reduce the threshold it's something like uh, preserve detail slider this threshold and the radius it's the amount of blur you want to apply but 10 it's more than enough here let's maybe use a threshold of 10 or maybe more maybe 15 16 let me see and before and after before and after and that's that's looking really nice actually let me see the details here and the shapes before and after before and after you can see that we lose a little bit of the details but if you want to compromise between the details and the noise i think this is something like a sweet spot so press ok when you're satisfied with your amount that's the second method so let's compare these two this is a surface blur and the noise 
reduced noise filter surface blur and it's a little bit different as you can see surface blur blur a little bit more those um, surfaces here but of course you can choose the lower amount of the blur and the threshold so you can you can find maybe a better sweet spot but it's another great way how you can reduce the noise so let's go to a third method again let's duplicate the background layer control command j and let me show you the third one for that i will use filter and i will use camera row filter that's something that i really like to use and in lightroom is the same method if you use lightroom let's zoom this something like even more right we need this this is 100 zoom so let's go to those two triangle options okay it's a detail tab so we need to go to noise reduction and we will use luminance noise because we will only reduce noise in the lights because here there is no so much color noise okay let's pump this luminance noise for about 60 maybe or so and as you can see we already uh, have less noise in the image we have luminance detail slider it's the amount of detail we want to preserve if we go all the way down to zero we will have a lot of blur here we will lose the details if we go all the way to 100 we will preserve all of the details and we will not reduce noise such as we will go to maybe 50 or 60 you will need to find that sweet spot let's press p on the keyboard before and after before and after that's really really nice maybe you go a little bit higher to 65 before and after this is really nice and i'm really satisfied with that i will press ok and wait a few seconds and that's it let me zoom a little bit more and let's see between the surface blur and this camera row noise reduction okay before actually surface blur camera row surface blur camera row i like this camera row filter much much better over the surface blur or over the classical noise reduction but it's it's really good it's really good it preserves more details all right now i will show you the fourth and the final method for today's lesson and that's by using a free plugin for photoshop it's nick collections by google and in that you have define plugin that it's uh, used for noise reduction so let's do that go to the background layer duplicate it again Control command j move it at the top go to the filter nick collection and define and wait a few seconds to load this plugin and you have few options here first let's move this by holding a space let's move this to the water to see where the noise is most visible like so that's nice first thing what this software is doing it's automatically try to detect the noise and to reduce noise from your image and as you can see here automatic profile applied and you have like to split your image to see at this preview or go in a single view i will go with this split preview and i will show before and after before and after it's not bad at all i really like this but you can do a manual measuring here just go from method automatic go to manual here and you have this rectangle option just click on that and just place a rectangle anywhere you want to measure noise from for example we want to measure noise noise from this area and let's use another one to measure noise maybe from from this area why not and now press measure noise button that's nice and wait for a few moments for photoshop to measure the noise and when it's finished see before and after before and after maybe this is too much maybe you need to choose some other areas but it's not so bad let's maybe small make this area smaller and this one and again measure noise and let me see the result now i think it's a little bit better yes it's a little bit better and press ok and that's it we now applied uh, this noise reduction uh, plugin from define on separate layer on a new layer so we can delete the previous layer if you want 
right? Let's see before and after. Before and after, let me zoom a little bit more, like so. Before and after, before and after. As you can see, this define uh, preserves a lot of details and in the shapes here in those purple, I don't know what it is in the water, but let me show you before and after, before and after, and reduce pretty nice amount of noise as you can see here in the water before and after before and after all right guys that's the four different methods free of charge what is really important how you can reduce noise in photoshop of course there are a few plugins that you need to pay for it that can deal with the noise even better than any of those four methods but that's not the topic for today today we are dealing just with the free methods and it's up to you which one of those four methods will you use in your workflow but just to know that sometimes one method is better than another. That depends on the situation you're in, the type of image, amount of noise, etc. etc. So try every of those four methods, experiment, and you will find which one is best for your purpose. My preference is Define, Google's uh, plugin, Define, and Camera Raw uh, filter and the noise reduction in that. But sometimes the surface blur is really, really great for the job. So experiment, have fun. That's it for today. I hope that you like this and that you learned something new, useful out of this tutorial. And if you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comments below. I will be glad to answer them. So see you next week in the next fun episode. Bye-bye.